Up in the booth with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and kickoff straight ahead, CD. What's one thing that you're going to have your eye on? I think about what... Going on first is Wentz. Forced out to his left. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. The pro bowler Odell Beckham, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Deion Let's go, let's go. Black, black, come on. This by seven. Black, black, come on. So after the INT, here's Wentz. Get him in right side, it's sharp. And he'll get it down on the play to the third. Oh, oh, oh. Shotgun now for Wentz. Nowhere to escape. And... They'll go for it, it's Wentz. And he finds his target, it's sharp. So not only do they... Wins to throw again. And he checks this one down to win. They're down to one remaining. And Zerline's kick is good. Too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Jadevian Cloudy in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. I know there'll be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and end up getting sacked. But that's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O-line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. Here we go, here we go. Good chip. Let's go, great, great. Now Wentz throwing on second down. This is caught by Antonio Brown. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. One thing I can say pretty safely, that oh, no. route is not oh, no. called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. Here with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, as the Lions are in possession of the football here to begin quarter number two. They're up against a third and two to start things out. his mouthpiece from Kansas City, which was kind of that yellow that goes in the Kansas City uniform. Mm -hmm. Not in the Atlanta uniform, but he kept wearing it because he remembered the good times he had in KC. They go play action here on first down. Buying time to his left. Now he'll let it go deep. Got his narration that we're used to seeing from him. Wentz will try again on second down. Escaping the pressure, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Jadevian Clowney in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. From the gun on third down, wins. Going up top. Into a double team. Great 15, great 15. Working from the gun, wins. 
And he will find Ridley on the left side. And up to the 35 before they're able to. On second down, here's Wentz. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A good pick up there of 20 yards. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right? Whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case, the feet, doing a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. Play fake here on first down. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 14. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. The staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Casey Hayward. And they will finally get him, but not in Running back, this position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people... And that is caught. Touchdown. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Man open left. This one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? And the blitz does come. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by the linebacker, Zach Brown. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. The 20. And he will bring it back. An interception return for... They run it again with Williams. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral, also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. Play action. Now wins. Throw right side is held in by the tight end, Gonzalez. 23 yards on the play. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. Throwing on first is Wentz. On the crossing route, complete. It's Gonzalez. Back now in Atlanta. It's Jaguar football, but a little work to do for them. They trail here as we start the fourth. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. The 14-time Pro Bowler, Tony Gonzalez, the intended receiver. And it's second down. And that's what he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. They get six here after the incompletion, and it'll leave him with a third and four. Five, 
They run with a Hall of Famer, Sanders. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. of a full three yards and now it's second down an interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra dbs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense i thought they were going to switch out of it i didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was well in any event the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage from back at the four here's second and goal Sunday, Sunday. He'll get it up the middle. And he gets halfway home from the four down to the two-yard line. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. So here we go on a third and goal. This Lions defense, they haven't broken yet. They'll run it with Williams. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Ricky Williams taking it in from two yards out. And the Jaguars have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. They get one more as the extra points up and good. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it. Zerline out now to kick this one away. This will be taken short. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offensive summit. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Back to throw. Now he's forced out left. Throw left side, taken in by Hill. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 23 yards on the play. Back to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Lawrence Taylor in there to take him down. And the clock will roll. Brandon, you got us some urgency here. You got to get the guys back to the line of scrimmage. But the problem is they're all 30 yards downfield after that play. They'll look to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. As they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. He'll look to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Brandon Graham in there to drop him yet again. And he must be shell-shocked back there. That's now back-to-back-to-back to back to back sacks. And it's fourth down. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the Lions linemen might have moved. One score down, here we go. They're gonna go for it here on fourth down. Here 
He's back to throw. And that is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And that'll be just about all she wrote for this one. Here comes the Jaguars offense as they get set to go again. And we're going to get another timeout called by the Lions. As he'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. Now wins. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And this is caught. And that could. 